everybody, welcome back to Anderson's TV. Oh, we are back once uh, again. What year is it? Is it 1959? I've got absolutely no idea. We're going to party it's like it's 1959. <laughs> oh, God. Hello, we did like a cup of cheese, Charles. <laughs> Charles. Okay. 1959. Yes. Um, arguably the most uh, famous year of uh, guitar production for Gibson. Uh, mm. Where all of a sudden, for a relatively short period of time, uh, the beautiful Les Paul appeared first in a burst with a flame first top. First in a burst. First in a burst. Um, and, you know, over the years, you talk about people like Peter Green and. and um, Gary Moore. Gary Moore and Kirk Bernie Marsden. Well, it's the same guitar, isn't well, it's it? It's the same guitar. That's what I mean. <laughs> it's, it's the same but guitar. The, 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 59, only ever one. <laughs> the 59 Les Paul is the one. Yeah. All right. Well, now, why is that? So, because, sorry to interrupt here, because I've seen some 58s when you look at that at last that little bit there, but they've still got the flaming tops on it. But do we not talk yeah. about those things? Well, so the. the Legend has it that up to 58, prior to 58, Plain. sorry, everything was uh, had it was black or gold. Oh, yes, of Then course, yeah, yeah, yeah. 58 had the first burst, but there was no sense that all they did, basically, the, the, the Les Paul has always had a maple cap, yeah, yeah, but, but it's always didn't... been coloured in black or gold. Yeah, yeah. So the, the first bursts, there was no sense of anybody going, oh, wouldn't it be good if we if chose, made like, that a bit flamey silly. wood? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then 59, somebody in the shop obviously just sort of went, Oh, wouldn't that look nice if we use that figured kind of maple top on it? So they yeah. went to the, the burst. And then that flowed into 60. And then in like the most unfathomable mystery of weirdness is the public just sort of went, I don't really like it. So Gibson went, well, just won't make it anymore then. We'll just make the oh, SG so instead. They won't. Oh, yeah, the SG, yeah, yeah. yeah. So 1961, the Les Paul became the, uh, and what we now know as the SG. And then in 68, I think, the world And Les Paul worked. didn't like that, didn't he? No, he didn't like he it. He didn't like Les Paul. Uh, so he <laughs> said, please don't call that a Les Paul. And then in 1968, the world went, oh, what have we been doing? And of course, the Les Paul came back. And yeah. Anyway. The best-selling signature guitar of all time. So, here in the middle is my Les Paul. And this this is actually a 58 rather than a 59, because I, I, I kind of have a little thing for the slightly chunkier neck. Mm. But what I love about this guitar is I love the colour. Um, oh, yes. Yeah, lemon cool. burst. And even the colour, you know, lineage is, is like, you know, any uh, Les Paul that you see that's lemon burst, like an original Les Paul that's lemon burst, is really just a faded sunburst. Yeah. You know, there is no such thing. This was this was never an original factory colour. This would have been a, a cherry sunburst. And then over the years, uh, some people's Les Pauls, Bernie's, Marston's is a good example. Yeah. All the red has just faded and it's become what we now know as lemon burst. Wasn't there two original bursts, yep. wasn't there? There was like the one Cherry that burst and, the, and the vintage sunburst. Yeah, you know, that's the, it, the yeah, dark yeah. Sunburst. yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, so that's always been my favourite. Now, back your number at one. the beginning of 2020, the last time Pete and I were at the NAM show, Whew. Epiphone <laughs> said, shh, 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 let's show you that secret. <laughs> and they showed us a 59. Epiphone, like a, a, a yeah, reissue yeah. of the 1959 Epiphone Les Paul. If yep. you want to see that video, I think Pete and I are messing around. It's I don't know how good a video it is actually because we shot it while we were at the NAM show and I'm not even sure we knew a great deal about the spec or no, whatever, but it's no. up there anyway. Oh NAM, how I miss you. Um, yeah. Anyway, so the, the 59 came out in a um, couple of different bursts. The, again, the cherry sunburst and the dark vintage sunburst. Mm -hmm. Unbelievably popular. So the, the spec of a, an Epiphone 59 is, the, the big spec is it's Gibson Burst Bucker 2 and 3 pickups mm -hmm. in here. So it's we're talking about the same kind of type of pickup that you'd get in a, in a proper Gibson Les Paul standard. Yeah. Um, we have got all the CTS pots um, and all the, the wiring stuff. that would be normally associated with an American Les Paul. Yeah. And we've got this kind of thin skin kind of uh, aged satin finished. So the idea is, obviously on a, on a guitar at, at this price, uh, you can't do the whole nitrocellulose thing, it just wouldn't be cost effective. But what they've tried to do is adapt the normal finishing technique that they would use on, an, on a, um, an Epiphone Les Paul, but to just strip it back, make it way, way thinner, so you're trying yeah. to get that sort of resonance from the wood, and give it that slightly aged VOS kind of look. So yeah. you get a slightly different look, you get a nice satin finish feel to the neck. Yeah. Anyway, that was the 59 Les Paul, incredibly popular, probably the best selling Ooh. Epiphone of, of 2020. Yeah. Um, and then fairly soon after, I would say back end of back end of 2020, I started pestering Gibson to go, 
can I get, can we do one in this colour, please? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it took maybe a year of pestering them. Under no, maybe less than a year, six months or whatever of pestering yeah. them until eventually they went, okay. Um, yeah. And we had to order, an ex this was an exclusive run for Andertons. I think uh, subsequently that there is another retailer in America that's kind of done, okay. basically got the same guitar yeah. as well, but it's it was, it's my idea. Not really. <laughs> um, so yeah, so this is, uh, we had to commit to doing quite a big run of these. Yep. So these are actually going to be hopefully in the Anderson's catalogue all through 2022. Okay, cool. Yep. Uh, I mean, if they're crazy popular, maybe we'll run it. Uh, in, and I guess if they're crazy, crazy popular, maybe we'll sell everything that we're going to get as pre-order. But yeah, hopefully yeah, um, the first batch arrived today, which is why we've got the guitars to do the video. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to get a few more, like three or four more batches through yeah. 2022. It's exactly the same spec as a regular 1959 Epiphone Les mm Paul. -hmm. Um, just to tell you what those specs are. Mahogany body, mahogany neck, uh, maple cap with a, a triple A flame mm -hmm. veneer on it. Mm -hmm. Those eagle eyed ones of you, uh, the closest thing I think I've seen to this guitar is the um, Joe Bonamassa Lazarus. Lazarus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, which is a quadruple A top version of yeah. this but and otherwise um i think the case that the lazarus came with has lazarus written on it yeah, whereas yeah. whereas the case this comes with which i shall just grab now grab just says uh epiphone on it yeah, so that same. other than that it's the same case oh, just pink inside oh yeah let's show you the pink actually because why wouldn't you no blanket though right no never hashtag, a blanket yet hashtag bring, bring back, back the blanket, blanket. Uh, there you go. So very reminiscent again of kind of like the case that you get with a with a custom shop. Yeah. Yeah, uh, nice case. Gibson though. Les Paul yeah. at the moment. Five um, knots on it. Four, four. But yeah, most importantly, of course, that it's the American. Well, I guess no, not just the combination of the satin finish and the American Gibson pickups gives this a different kind of vibe to what you would get if you just bought a regular Epiphone Les Paul. For an amazing price as well, when you think about it. Because if you want one of these, or just a standard, it's what, 22, 2300 now? Yep. Uh, and these are, what? 749. So, 749. So, exactly, in the lemon burst colour, exactly the same price as the other sunbursts. Okay. Um, and about, about 150 pounds more than an Epiphone Les Paul standard. So, if you wanted an Epiphone Les Paul standard with the gloss finish and with Epiphone's pickups, I think they're about 5 or something yeah. like that. I mean, this anyway. Is, this is great. Let's get some tones, man. Get some tones. Because um, I'm bored here, so. The, yeah. <laughs> the good news, well, I guess kind of good news, because uh, the construction of Epiphone um, flame tops is to use a proper maple cap, but then use a veneer to get that flame rather than something like this, which which where the, the whole proper cap maple. is a, a maple cap, yeah. is there's not a lot of difference from one guitar to the next in terms of, you know, yeah. when you get a piece of maple and you cut like, you know, 500 veneers out of a block of, you know, yeah. they're all, you know, maybe not 100% the same, but they're all like 97% yeah. yeah, the same. Things, so a little bit of difference on these two, but you know. It's, it's minuscule. So yeah. even though the one that you might buy from Anderson's or, or in America won't be this exact one, it might be this exact one. I'll tell you the serial number. Yeah, of this it's a long one, isn't it? It is. Uh, two double one two one five three one three five three. And uh, this one is two double one two one five two seven four eight three. That's my phone number. Um, yeah, even, <laughs> even, even though you won't get this exact one, it's going to look like 99% the same anyway. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, Pete, Tom's? would you do the honours, please? Yeah, yeah. There are okay. no coil taps, no nothings, but. It is no, no. absolutely worth doing, showing the difference between the pickups on eight or nine versus yeah, yeah. ten, because these absolutely. you get all that with the wiring and the pops and the, and the pickups. It's like there's so many layers of beautifulness within a. It's so board. lovely that you throw I your threw stuff that, around. I just, okay. Yeah, through it. But here's floor. so here's. I'm just going to start with everything on full here, and God. it's on your foot there. There you go. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to start with everything on full here and a G chord. No pedals, just going no into pedals, the DP. Just the amp. Clean. It's got a nice sort of um, clean, not, it's, it doesn't, it's, uh, what is it called, a puffy tone, doesn't it? Really nice to play as well. Here's the middle position. You 
mention the nice to play. It is a, it is a unique neck carve on this. Not unique. It's a, it's a different unique, neck unique, carve to a, an Epiphone Les Paul standard. Yeah, it's more like it's, a fifty. It's, yeah, it's, it's a, a fifty-nine. Little bit little chunk bit. along curve, more like a fifty-nine. But not like this. But not sure. like not like no. the uh, baseball bat. No. no. It's the bridge. It's really nice to play this. It's really nice to play this. Let's try the thing when you say, turn yeah. a little bit down. I just find, I just find going from 10, just to nine. Nine? It, it doesn't, it's not about going, oh, what's it like halfway down? It's just taking that initial edge off it and the whole guitar has a different yeah. character. I mean, I, I find if you just put a little bit of, of uh, drive. Just to bring it ahead yeah. a bit and then take it down a bit. Go back to the bridge and do the same thing. So in the intro jam, I'm like that because it's difficult to get up there. But no, it sounds, this is I, great I, to play, man! I, wow! I was noodling. Honestly, on, uh, I got like a advanced sample sent through Look from, you from uh, Epiphone <laughs> a couple of weeks back. Yeah. So I've noodled on this and, and, and on in a couple of the Instagram videos for my office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I in my amp in my office is a is a Victory Sheriff, which is basically like an old Marshall yeah, sort yeah. of inspired sounding amplifier. And I normally set that up completely clean and then have pedals and yep. I run it through the two notes thing so that in my office it just comes out some little speakers like that. Yeah. I thought, you know what, with a Les Paul, that's not what they would have done back in the day. No. So I cranked the amp a little bit, which of course with the, the two notes attenuator you can do. So I, cr I cranked the amp a little bit, not crazy, like half, just over half on the, on the gain and volume and stuff. Yeah. Took all the pedals off and just did everything like they would have done old amp. school. So like clean by just having a tiny bit back and picking softer. Yeah. Gainy by picking harder and turning the volume up. Picking me softly. Honestly as well, I was like, oh man, this is such a great tone. You don't have, yeah. you know, you and I, funny enough, I came straight in here and I said, you know, I think maybe I might want to just for a while go back to using a Marshall-y kind of amplifier and no pedals and just do everything from here. Because it doesn't work with all guitars though. No, and it doesn't work. It's it a Les Paul thing. I yeah, think. I think a it's a Les Paul thing, definitely. I mean, that's why it's, you know, it's nice to have a pedal drive that you can, and you, it kind of works the same way because yeah. it's the front end of the amp that's breaking up. but. It's a great sounding guitar, it, sound fat, it is it? really nice to play. So just if 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 I don't take this one, then it's seven ends seven four eight three. So one two one it's one. Definitely my phone. Number. There's something. It is definitely. <laughs>
is super easy to play. It's super great guitar. duper easy to so, play. Part of this video. Wow. Uh, nom, I just nom, thought. Nom, nom, nom. Now. Nom, nom. Yummy, yummy. Obviously, you know, the, 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 the top of the line Gibson stuff is, is custom shop. Yeah. Um, this was yeah, this from is... 2014, was when I bought this, but it's, you know, apart from the fact that. Um, Currently, you've got the option of doing the whole Murphy Labs thing. This is still pretty much the spec that you would get if yep, you bought yep, a, yep. a 58 reissue. Yep. These, what have you got to spend now? Four or five thousand quid to five get thousand, one of these? Yeah, about four nine nine nine. Okay. Nine, 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 nine. Let's do the Mr. Pete, okay. please. Okay, so let's just go. Let's just see. What do you want and, to do? Shall oh, so I go back to that one yeah, now? Yeah, go back or? to yeah, this yeah, one. I'm one. kind of interested. Oh, not this, this has what start Gibson start. call custom buckers. Yeah. So the custom bucker is a sort of a bit of a, a catch-all term that just allows uh, whoever's making the guitar and winding the pickups to kind of do whatever they like to sort of suit the guitar and suit the era that they're trying to uh, replicate. Yeah. Um, so I'm not suggesting that these pickups and these pickups are the same or anything like that, but it'll be interesting to see, uh, do you, you know, is it really obvious, the tone difference? Or are we saying, look, it's just too good sounding Les Pauls? I think we did that. Did we do a video once? Maybe that would be up there, whatever. But this is definitely... There is a sense oh, look, that... I'm going, I'm yeah, there going is a sense that the, 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 the first bucker, right? two and three, are probably a little pokier than the custom buckers that are in there. Yeah, yeah, and absolutely. So the neck. Sound very similar, don't they? I'm not even sure they're poke yet. Maybe a bit brighter? These are slightly brighter. Oh, you think I, those are brighter? Yeah. I don't know, man. It's... Let's do, a quick, what, let's do a quick, I'll play a G chord. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go sort of, you know, pseudo blindfold. So you, you, you sort of... Um, Let me just play a G random, chord. Randomly pick one and I'll... Uh, and then play the other and I'll see if I can hear any difference. Okay, so here's the first one. I'll stay on the neck pick up, just clean. Same chord progression as always. Everything on full. Let's go, let's, I'll go back to the other one. Okay. Oh man, second one sounded marginally louder, but... Yeah, well, it could be a pickup height thing, couldn't it? I mean, <laughs> you know, you never know. Let's go on the, here's the bridge pickup. And here is the bridge pickup. The other one. So that was number two on the bridge pickup. Okay, so, so, so the, the first time round, yeah. uh, I don't know if you were playing softer or whatever, but I honestly, it was, it was a very marginal difference. The second time round, the neck pickup sounded similar, but the bridge pickup had uh, more, there's more overdrive on the second one. Yeah, um, I, I hear the same. So I don't know, I mean, the the, let me go. Let me stay where you are, okay. and then I'll go back to I'll go back to the other one. I mean, here. the Epiphone's supposed to have the hotter pickups. Yeah, so. I mean that's t also you know you get custom shop stuff, and you know that's a different thing. So let's let's go back to the other one. I'm still on a bridge pickup here. I don't necessarily think there's more drive on it. I okay. think it's just maybe a slightly more clean tone yeah, than one of them. Yeah, maybe more treble. Maybe I a don't bit know, more treble. Man. I mean, I like the. I don't know. Are we talking. We're Marge, talking. No, another, I mean, I'm going to say I like, I like the. I like the. I like the brighter. Yeah. I like the brighter clarity one. Yeah. Better. I mean, so you had. So a, I was, feel like you had a little bit more clarity on this one. Right. The neck pickups on both sound to me really similar, but maybe the maybe mm. the bridge is kind of different. Maybe that's slightly higher. Well, what do you feel when you play like a satin neck versus a... Because this this hasn't really... I didn't go with any sense of 
like relicking on this or anything like that. So what I do you feel? I think there's difference in satins. We talked about this before, haven't we? There's, there's, there's satin and then there's satin. There's a that, satin, uh, satin, satin, there's a satin um, nitro and there's a satin uh, not nitro and then there's a non lacquered neck. Some of the some of the necks are, the necks are not lacquered and that's a different feeling. I think, I think feel wise I prefer this one. But if I had, you know, if I it wouldn't be adverse to, to playing that guitar because it's a great guitar. I kind of feel but, that if I, if I if this was to become, I mean, I feel but, guilty because I kind of I, I I now own enough guitars that they, that my playing gets play, spread yeah. across so yeah, many yeah. different. So it doesn't make I it make kind a different. Of feel, yeah, if you go to your Les Paul, which has been aged. Yeah. It's got slightly, a smoother. It's a slightly smoother of, feel to it. You quickly give us a play on that one and see what you think. I just because this is your guitar, right? Yeah, I mean, I just I just know that that when I was noodling on the advanced sample they sent me, which is the, the same you know, guitar. it's the same guitar. Yeah, yeah. Um, I I finally I think sort of crossed over and just didn't really care that it was an Epiphone rather than a Gibson. I just liked it. Yeah. You know. And it looks the board looks. Good. What I mean about that, that's like eight to nine. Can I just say something quickly? Because you've got an amp that's got much more headroom in it and yeah. it works much better with a higher headroom amp as well. Yeah. I think with mine it's kind of, it's only 40 watts so you, it, it's got a loft with that clean thing and with the harmonics and the clarity which you get in that one that you might necessarily get in some of this. to go into overdrive. Yeah, and it's quicker, easier it? to, to yeah. get into drive and stuff. Uh, so anyway, go on, sorry. And just with like, this is a, a Dane again. Thank you. 
It's so little linen, isn't it? But it's weird that the, 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 there is a bigger difference on the bridge pickup between the two. You can yeah. tell this one this one is pokey. I think it is probably a little closer to the string. I think so, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so, it's so weird. You know, Pete and I have talked about this. Jumping from one amp or one pedal or one guitar to the next, there is like a quite a short period, like maybe 10 seconds where you're going, oh yeah, no, that's different, fatter, slimmer, sticky, satin, gainy, whatever. It's like, like know, Saturday night. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but then it's, <laughs> nice am weekend. it's amazing how quickly you just adapt to the, whatever the next one is. Well, we do, because we're I lucky think, enough yeah. to play all these guitars all the time, and it's a, it's a constant every day. It's mm. four, day, four videos, and there might be four or five guitars in the video. We are mm. used to it. You know, if you get if you got one or two guitars at home, you get used to one. There's not much in it. Wait, no, wait, maybe, maybe wait. if anything, that's slightly heavier. Yeah, I was gonna say if yeah. anything, but that is slightly lighter. That is, that is about what is it, twenty pounds that one. Is twenty right? pounds. Yeah. <laughs> no, that was uh, that's about that's nine about, and a half. Yeah. I think something like that. Yeah, slightly. But that's oh, normal, look. normal, normal. Um, yeah, that, there we, we are. need some new cables. I mean, there, we 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 blabbered on for long enough. If you didn't get the message at the beginning of the video, yeah. Uh, this is a this gone. is a, an Anderton's proprietary run of Epiphone 1959 guitars in lemon burst, only available this side of the Atlantic from Anderton's, and other side of the Atlantic, someone else who I don't know, but I believe there is another retailer yeah. selling them over there. With a case, beautiful, nice guitar. case, yeah, Six, nine, nine, was seven forty nine. So same price, a little bit cheaper than Lazarus, same price as all the other fifty nine yeah. Les Pauls, um, Epiphone cooler. Les Pauls. But yeah, it's a cool colour, right? Yeah. So Absolutely. let's jam out. Let's do it. And uh, we shall see you in another video soon. Links are below if you want to dive on over to the Anderson's website, see some more photography of these things. Maybe buy one. Yeah, I like mean, and subscribe. That's the idea, right, guys? Yeah. Uh, Win a clone when we get to a million subscribers as well, so subscribe for that one. Yeah.